Hi, I'm Mariana, and in this video, we'll go over how you can create and set up your website in MailChimp. So let's get started. A website allows you to bring your brand's vision to life online and stay in touch with your audience. When you're ready to create your website, MailChimp will help you style and design your web pages so you can bring your business online. To create a website, we'll click the website icon. In the websites tab, we'll add the name of our website and click next. We'll choose our audience in the drop down menu and then click edit site to start building. In the website builder, we can set our website styles, create new web pages, or edit our homepage. By default, MailChimp will apply the same colors, fonts, and button style to every page we create. This helps us streamline our site creation process and maintain a consistent brand identity. And to define the color, font, and button styles for our website, we'll navigate to the Manage Site menu and click Styles. In the palette dropdown, we can choose a pre-designed color scheme, or if we have our own brand colors we want to use, we'll click Create to design our own palette. Let's name our palette and click the plus icon to pull up the color swatch. Here we can add our six digit hex color code, our RGB values, or use the color picker. To get the exact colors for our brand, let's use the hex color code. After we select colors for all five swatches, we'll click Save Palette. Then when we click the palette dropdown, our custom colors will appear at the top under Custom. MailChimp will automatically assign our selected colors to different sections of the website, such as the background section and the navigation text. And to change the color assignments, we'll click Edit to access the default color scheme. Here we can choose from different color combinations for the background, text, and buttons for all sections of our website. And I think the color scheme with this color background and this color font and this color button looks really good. <laughs> and once we're satisfied with our color selections, we'll click Edit Palette and Styles to go back to the Styles menu. All right, so now in the Theme section, we can click the arrow icons to choose between classic, modern, Florentine, refined, versatile, or polished font and button styles. And we'll see the heading paragraph fonts and button styles change in the website preview as we make our selections. And I think out of all of these, hmm, I'll go with the Florentine theme. Yeah. And if you want to make additional changes to the theme, just click Edit. Here we can also choose a different font pair or adjust the size and spacing of the text. Wow, I think this looks really nice. And we have the basic look and feel of our website. So that's it. You've learned how to edit the style of your website. To learn more information about websites, check out MailChimp's guides and tutorials.